Welcome to our video presentation sponsored by the Jesuit Retreat Center of Los Altos. My name is Kevin Leidick and I'm one of the pastoral ministers here at El Retiro. Unfortunately, we live in troubled times. A divided country, economic uncertainty, migration and refugees, political fragmentation across the world, climate change, natural disasters here in our state of California and around the country, and now a virus that threatens the lives of so many people globally. Jesus also lived in troubled times, personally, but also culturally and politically. With the Roman occupation, a divided and contentious Jewish community with its various factions, and with violent and arbitrary local political leaders like Herod and Pilate. Jesus boldly states in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 27, my soul is troubled. In chapter 13, verse 21, states that Jesus was troubled in spirit. Earlier in John chapter 10, when Jesus visited Jerusalem, the gospel states that the Jews fetched stones to stone him. They wanted to arrest him then, but he eluded them. He returned north to the safety of Galilee. The next chapter of John sets the stage. He received word that his friend Lazarus was very ill, and Jesus was summoned by Martha and Mary. Jesus remains north for a couple more days, but then decides a journey to Bethany just outside Jerusalem, be with Lazarus and Martha and Mary, the sisters of Lazarus. Jesus and his disciples know how dangerous this decision is. In John 18, verse 8, the disciples said to Jesus, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? The disciples tried to deter Jesus from making this rash decision. But then Thomas spoke up in John 11, verse 16. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go to die with him. And so Jesus, by visiting his sick friend Lazarus near Jerusalem, fulfilled his own words recorded at the Last Supper Discourse in John 15, verse 13. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 14, verse 2, in the first chapter of the Last Supper Discourse or speech, Jesus advises his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. At the end of that chapter 14, verse 27, he repeats, repeats those words, do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus knew he was living in dangerous and troubled times. And in John chapters 13 to 17, by his words and actions, Jesus presents an example of how to respond to whatever troubled times we face. And the example becomes a strategy for his disciples and his followers down through the ages and how to face their own troubled times. The outline that my series of webcasts will follow is based on reflections given by the late Archbishop John Quinn of San Francisco. Archbishop Quinn detected a common thread running through the sayings of Jesus and also in the Last Supper event itself. The thread is that the observation is that Jesus is troubled. In each of the subsequent seven broad webcasts, I'll present each of these seven strategies that Jesus has given as a model for us of how to act and live in troubled times. At all times and all things, we're called to be strengthened by the example of Jesus, who endured and was steadfast during his own troubled times.